My name is William Corrali from Northeast Ohio. I voted Republican in almost every presidential election since 1980, and I've generally voted Republican at state and local elections as well. I spent 10 years as a newspaper reporter, and I had the chance to meet a lot of politicians, good and bad, from both parties. And I came to understand that being a politician is a very, very hard job to do well. It takes character, intelligence, honesty, and courage. Every one of these qualities is glaringly missing from Donald Trump. I also grew up with a malignant narcissist. I didn't know the proper term back then, but I knew something was wrong. And I've seen firsthand the havoc and pain a person like that can wreak on the lives of others on a personal level. Now we're seeing what a man like that, a man who doesn't care about other human beings, a man who can't tell right from wrong, can wreak on the country and the world. On the day the Republican Party nominated him, I followed through on my personal promise and I left the party. But even then, I thought other Republicans would have the courage and honesty to step up and support what I thought were our shared principles. The formerly Republican principles I most believe in, rule of law, fiscal responsibility, support for human rights and human dignity, and the understanding of what government should and should not do and frankly, even basic competence and intellectual honesty. Every one of these is no longer supported by the Republican Party. We have our own health care crisis spiraling out of control and an economy in shambles due to the gross incompetence at the highest levels. And the legal fabric of our country is being shredded by our increasingly misnamed Department of Justice. Right now, we have a historic chance to dramatically improve race relations, and quality of life issues in our country. And Trump is tweeting out white power videos. We need to elect Joe Biden, and we need to flip the Senate. But more importantly, we need to keep working after this Trumpian nightmare is over to build a new party free of these spineless, cowardly, ignorant thugs who've taken over the Republican Party.